Hello guys, Miss Wilson here. This is going to be a bit of a different year, isn't it? I know a lot of my friends are going back to the classroom for September, but some of them are going online for a virtual class. And that's actually what I'm going to be doing this year. I'm not even going back to the classroom. I'm going to be teaching virtually this year um, an online kindergarten class, which is very new and very exciting. <laughs> Rodney? Well, I'm about to go to school, but I'm gonna miss my mom. Oh, hey, buddy. It's okay. Here's the thing. There's a lot of us who are going back to school, and a lot of us are gonna be really sad and scared to be saying goodbye to our mummies and daddies for a little bit of our day. Yeah. But you know what? I have the perfect book to share with you about that. Oh, yeah? It's perfect. It's called The Kissing Hand. Just oh. listen to the story and see if it okay. maybe helps you feel a little bit better. This book is okay. called The Kissing Hand and it's by Audrey Penn. This is one of our favorite books to read at the beginning of the school year because it's a great book about missing a mommy or a daddy when you go to school. So let's read oh. this one today and see if it maybe helps our little friend Rodney out. Oh, thank you. The Kissing Hand. I'm gonna have to scoot back a little bit here, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you're too close. Me, Rodney? I'm still here. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. Aww. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay Me home neither. with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Do you feel that same way a little bit, Rodney? Yes, exactly. I just want to stay home with my mom. Yeah, that makes sense. We've all been home for a very long time, too. Yeah. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, oh. she told him gently. Even if they seem strange and scary at first. Okay. But you will love school once you start. Oh. I bet some of your mummies and daddies have told you that, haven't they? Yeah. Sometimes we have to do things that are a little bit scary. But you're going to love it once you start. Okay. I hope you love it once you start. I love school. Rodney, you've been to school a few times. What do you think? Oh, I mean, I had a lot of fun when I'm there. I love school. Yeah, once you start, you love it. Yeah. But it can be just a little scary to say bye to mommy and daddy for the day. Yeah. Do you see them again at the end? Yeah, you do. I get to see them at home time. They pick me up from my classroom. Yeah, you see mommy and daddy at home time, too. Mrs. Raccoon says... You'll make new friends and play with new toys. Oh. Read new books and swing on new swings. Oh. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. What could that be? I wonder what her little secret is. That you have to wear a mask? <laughs> I don't think that's her secret. That's another thing that's a little weird this year, isn't it? We're going to have to wear a mask to school. Yeah. At least where we are. Yep, I'm going to have to wear a mask. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. Hmm. What do you think that face would look like? Looking interested. Hmm. What could Mrs. Raccoon have in mind? Oh. A secret? What kind oh. of secret? Oh, a very old secret, said Mrs. Oh. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother, and she learned it from hers. It's called mm -hmm. the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? Yeah. I'll show you, Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand, spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Can you do that? Awesome. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. 
hers. Oh. Even his silky black mask tingled with special oil. A mask! I guess the raccoons had to wear masks too, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did! Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves Mommy you. Loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm Oh, wow! <laughs> She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. I'll but never wash worry. my hand. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Oh. So if a mommy or daddy kisses you on your hand and you have to wash that hand a lot during the school, yep. your kiss will still Oh, okay, so I can wash my hands. <laughs> Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, Aww. even to school. Aww. There are some pictures holding his mom's hand, Aww. looking at the loving kiss, playing with the ball, running in the grass. I love it. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked Thought. Um, wait, wait, wait. At night? Yeah, that's a good question, Rodney. That night. Hmm. Why do you think Chester's going to school at nighttime? Do you go to school at night? No, I go in the daytime. I go to school in the day, too. But Chester is a raccoon. Do you know what's interesting about raccoons? They eat bugs and sleep at daytime. Yes. They sleep in the day and they're awake at night. There's actually a word for that. Any thoughts? Um. Can anyone at home help them out? Um. Nocturnal. Oh. That's a big word. Nocturnal. We'll call that the magic word of the book. Oh. Nocturnal means you sleep during the day and you're awake at night. So nocturnal. Is a nocturnal animal. Raccoons oh. are nocturnal. We don't see them in the daytime. And because he sleeps all day, when would school be for a raccoon? Uh, I guess at night. You got it. At night. So that night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. What would that look like? A thoughtful look. Hmm. Looking thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own, unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand, too, he told Aww. her. And with a gentle goodbye, and I love you. I love Chester you. turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree uh -huh. and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in a new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's uh -huh. kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it's oh, saying. Rodney Chester loves, you. loves you. The end. Aww, how cute. I love you. Oh, I love you too. At the end of the book, it has this symbol for I love you. And that's actually a sign language sign. I love you. I can't do what that. What was kind of neat at the end of the book, the mother taught Chester about the kissing hands. So Chester didn't feel sad and lonely. But what right, did right. Chester do at the end? Well, he kissed his mom's hand. Yeah, he kissed the mom's hand. Why did he give the mom a kissing hand? Maybe she was lonely. Maybe she was sad. Yeah, because your mummies and daddies, grandmas and grandpas, they're going to miss you too. And they might be sad and lonely while you're at school, and they can't wait mm -hmm. to see you again. 
So Aww. maybe you need to give your mommy or daddy a kissing hand before you say goodbye for the day. Okay. Okay, I will. Thanks I for promise. Thanks us today as we read The Kissing Hand. I hope You're you welcome. guys have a fantastic back to school week. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.